just here at the O2, we are at, up at the O2, Pay Victoria. Hi. This is the OnePlus 3 smartphone. Have a look at it. You've probably never seen it before. Let us know what you think. Nice. It's nice and impressive. Yeah, it's nice, yeah. Let's go. Now, the Mocha's engines are pretty punchy, however, which is all thanks to turbocharging in that regard. Now, this one is the 128 brake horsepower, 1.2 litre engine, which is around 1,200 quid more than the basic 98 brake horsepower one, which we think is worth it, because you get a decent shove, 0 to 62 time of 9.1 seconds for only a few extra quid a month. Oh, and you do have to pay extra for this auto box, which is slick enough that most people will be fine with a manual. Every person that works here is a sommelier or wine trained. So if you're just ready for wine, you don't have to book an advance, you just turn up. Say wine tasting. Wine tasting! Yes! Now the Ford Cougar is bigger than ever before, which means you've got more room for passengers and bigger boot space. Now one of the nice practical touches is that the rear seat can be moved backwards and forwards so you can create more space in here with a maximum space of 526 litres or you can pull the chair all the way back and have 475 litres in the boot and then a little bit more leg room for your passengers. I am hungry. Oh, quick battery check. Not bad, we could do with a bit more. Dash charge to the rescue. Could you not watch me eat? In case you were worried about what we had to sacrifice the middle seat for, well... <laughs> champagne cooler, which is where I kept my champagne that I was about to have earlier before I was rudely interrupted by you guys and forced to do a car review. Yeah. Oh, and behind that, 420 litres of boot space, which I suppose is perfect for a weekend away. So this is the big moment. After watching Love Island, I got inspired by the lie detector episode, so I decided to text my friend, Ian. Have you ever had an inappropriate dream about Nicola? No. And that was not truthful. <laughs> So while most manufacturers are launching their first EVs, the Renault Zoe has been going for a decade and it shows in a good way. It's improving yearly, continually getting better thanks to customer feedback and data. And the latest overhaul is really impressive. So not only does the latest Zoe double the range of its predecessor, but it's much nicer inside. I think if I had one criticism, it would be that the new Zoe looks very similar to the original. So I would like Renault to be a little bit more adventurous next time, please.